This will be the topical anesthetic. It is going to help you numb an area of the mouth to be able to inject the local anesthetic. Once it's numb, you can inject the mouth with a local anesthetic. These will be the air and water syringes used to help spray air and water in the patient's mouth during any dental treatment. This next one is an HVE used to suction any debris in the mouth. The saliva injectors are for removing saliva or pooling water during the patient care. These are going to be dental 2x2 gauzes used to help in the preparation. The cotton rolls will help keep isolation and help keep the mouth dry. You will always start off with a basic setup which will be the mirror used for visual. This is the explorer used to check the occlusal surfaces of the tooth. This will be a probing instrument used to measure the depth of the tooth pocket. This is a plastic composite instrument used to shape and remove excess filling materials from a tooth. This is a spoon activator. It allows the dentist to remove different levels of softened decay or temporary fillings. The scale will also help you remove composites from the teeth or to remove cement. A woodson is also used in the procedure. It is for placing and removing excess temporary filling materials. The cotton pliers are used for the placements of the cotton rolls for isolations as well as retrieval of small objects. This will be the humostat. It's used to help manage the bleeding during dental operations. You will add floss and that is for every tray setup. It's used for any cleaning in the interproximal surfaces with material, food, or anything stuck between their teeth including plaque. This will be the articulating paper holder and paper used to take the bite after the procedure is done. This will be the Fuji, it's a glass ion or sealant and surface protectant. It's a restorative chemical that bonds to both the enamel and the dentin. This will be our cement spatula to use to mix our cements onto the mixing pad. You will also need a timer to make sure you're getting the accurate time on the mixing and setting. The purpose of the bite block is used to protect the patient during the procedure, especially when they are waking up from the anesthetic. We will then have the proper burrs that we need. For the preparation tray, we will need diamonds. To prepare the teeth, this also includes our finishing burrs, finishing discs, and our finishing stones. This will be the slow speed handpiece used for the removal of soft decay, finishing cavity preparation, polishing, and trimming. Both slow pieces and high pieces will be used with burrs, stones, or discs. But this high speed will be used for adjusting the crown and bridges for the final fit. And that should wrap up all you need for the crown and bridge delivery.